What is going on boys and girls, it's Gilini back here with a brand new video and as you can see from your screen and the thumbnail and the title and this, that and the other, today's video is the player of the year team of two halves. Uh, so far in FIFA at the moment, well so far, at the moment, so far in FIFA we've released, um, EA released, sorry, two player of the year cards, both on your screen right now, you've got one for the Swedish league and one for the Irish FA I think it is, so it's like the best Irish player. Um, or the best Irish League player, that sort of thing. Um, so you can see both on their screens. The card design this year looks really, really nice. I think it looks uh, looks quite classy, especially with uh, Christensen's picture with him with his with his award. It looks quite nice. Went for a four three three, just a flat standard for this team, and it is a bit of a different team. I will admit that. Um, it's a bit of a different team. In goal, we go for the ones to watch past the glory kind of Joe Hart um, card. Eighty three diving and a reflex. He's seventy eight handling, seventy five kicking, eighty one positioning. His height is the main thing that um, attracted me. Him, six foot five, uh, 16 and a half K, so he's not that expensive. Um, and it's the same as his normal card, you can go with that. I thought I'd make this team a little bit more colourful though. Right back, we go for El Abdelawi from Olympiacos. Um, like I said, went different with this team 83 pace, uh, 75 dribbling, 70 defending, 71 passing, and physical, which is pretty decent. 450 coins, so he's not going to break the bank whatsoever. The first centre back is a non rare silver, uh, it is Nielsen, who does get that perfect link to the central midfielder, which is the main reason he is there. 70 pace, 70 defending, 76 physical, 6 foot 1, and medium high. So he's not too bad. He's not too but he did cost me 2k but I think I did buy him quite close to the time of um, the quite close to the time of the um, what's it called being out there the SBC so um so obviously he, he was a bit inflated. Uh, obviously what I'm going for is Rio Fernand obviously he's now got his prime card out which I could have gone and got loaned for but I have been away the entire weekend I'm recording this on Sunday night to go up on Monday um, as you know from two previous videos, it's been an extra all weekend, so I haven't even had a chance to touch the SBCs, um, other than a couple I did on the train up there. But So we've gone for the 88 loan one, which you do get for the journey. Seven games, played two games with him, because I accidentally didn't record the software for this. I recorded my face, recorded the audio, but no, did not record um, the game gameplay, which was completely ridiculous. But he's got 80 pace, 82 defending, 82 physical, 6 foot 2. He just looks like a boss card, and he is a very decent card, and we'll give him that uh, for his 88 rating. Left foot we go for Johnny, another non rare player. 77 pace, 77 defending, and 76 physical. Bog standard card, you know, the high medium white It's very bog standard. Um, so he, but he is there purely for chemistry because he gets a, a strong link to this guy, to Daniel Vass, the inform card from Celta Vigo. 78 pace, 84 dribbling, 80 shooting, 70 defending, 74 physical, and 86 passing. This guy is monstrous. He's 31k. Uh, he's a fantastic card. Absolutely love this guy. One of the best central midfielders on this game for sure. Sure, the other midfielder alongside the other two uh, we go for is Andre Martins uh, from Olympiacos. He's Portuguese, you probably see where I'm going with the right winger. 79 pace, 80 dribbling, and 73 passing. They're the three stats that drew me to him, and he's 500 coins, and he's a bit different. I mean, going for a silver card, it's a bit different. But the main one we're looking at in the midfield is Anders Christiansen from Malmo. He won the um, Alsvenkan, I think is how you pronounce it, and the Swedish League Player of the Year. 78 pace, 83 dribbling, 75 shooting, 77 defending, 84 passing, and 81 physical. High high work rates, 5 foot 9, and this guy's in-game stats is just madness. Look at the dark greens everywhere. 85 attack position and 84 shot power. 86 vision, 86 short passing, 88 long passing, 82 curve. The best three, best four stats he's got there. 99 agility. 97 um, ballads, 95 jumping, 96 stamina. This guy just is ridiculous. Absolutely loved playing with him in the two games I accidentally played. But he is absolutely ridiculous card. Right wing up, we go for Helder Costa from Wolves. Obviously getting that Portuguese link and the championship link. 92 base, 79 dribbling, 71 um, shooting. Four star, four star, and he's left footed on the right. So um, mainly he's there for... Just being a beast, really. Left wing, we go for a bit of a throwback in Aidan McGeady. He's been nerfed for pace this year, 77. But he's still got 81 dribbling, 71 shot, and 72 passing. And he's still got the five star skill moves, which is what I really wanted out of him. Um, but the other thing is that strong link to the striker, Sean Maguire. You can see from the two games I played with him, four goals and one assist. And these were in weekend league. Like, this was a qualification weekend league. So he, he's pretty decent. And he's only a year older than me, which is quite, quite cool. Um, but his stats are mad. 95 acceleration, 90 sprint speed, 99 agility, at, agility sorry, and balance, 86 finishing, 83 attack and positioning, 81 shot power, 83 penalties, 83 heading actually, 87 stamina. I mean, the pace, the stamina, the agility, the balance, the shooting, all mixed together just makes him for an unreal striker. The only downside for me is he's only 5'9", um, so he's not tall enough to win any of the headers. 
but I have to get into a couple of games, show you how he plays and show you how the whole team plays. So let's go get a first opponent. We'll probably go for seasons. I'm recording this, like I said, Sunday, so I can't, I'm not actually in the weekend league. So we go into a couple of seasons games, see how we do with the team, see how many goals we can get with the two purple boys, and hopefully have an all good time, all round, a good time even. Let's go get the first opponent. Right, guys, opponent number one does bring us a full silver La Liga team. That's pretty cool. Um, the only players I actually know, know in there, he's got Azevedo, he's got Luis as his left CDM. Other than that, I don't know anyone in there, which is a bad thing because he could be ridiculous. And the other irritating thing it is my, my parents are in the room, you know, living room behind me, watching I'm a celebrity and laughing really loudly, so you might hear that throughout the video. But. Let's see how we do against the silver team. He could be a good player, or this team could just be ridiculously overpowered. But let's get into it. Let's see how we do. Hope we come up with a win, and hopefully get a couple of goals with Maguire. Oh, Christensen! Ah, oh, that was unlucky. Thought he was about to hit that long shot. Oh, he's throwing. Oh, my God. Good save from Joe Hart. He plays a very, very possession-based kind of FIFA. He keeps the ball. He drags it back. He's that kind of player. So, all I need to do is keep the ball, and I might have a chance of winning. Oh, Christensen. That was unlucky. He hit that from distance. Who have we got here for the corners? Not Maguire. He's too short. I think Bass has got some good free kicks on him, but I want to left foot. We'll go for Helder Costa. See how he does. Put this into the middle of the box. Ah, that was terrible. I think, yeah, cost us offside. Ah. Yeah, this game has been boring. He just holds the ball and he'll just play it like really far back. Irritating. Oh, Daniel Vass, lovely stuff. I tried to turn in the box with Maguire. He managed to tackle me. Which was irritating, but we still got a shot off with us from outside the box, and we got a race quit out of it. I will take that all day long. That's the three points in the I think mean, I'm in Division Six or something like that. Um, so I'll take the three points on that one. Let's get into a second game and hopefully play more than 27 in game minutes. Right, boys. Opponent number two has got himself another La Liga team, but this time it's all gold. He's got Stegen. Uh, I think that's Vidal right back. He's got uh, Mutiti. He's got Laporte, Gaia. He's got Zonzi. I think that might be Pardo, the left centre mid. He's got Paulinho, he's got Aria. Oh, well, that's a pacey front three of Orellana, Bacambu, and Iago Aspas. That's dangerous. That's very dangerous. Let's see how we do in this game. Hopefully, we play more than 27 minutes. Hopefully, we do come up with a win. And another couple of goals for Maguire. I say another couple of goals. A couple of goals for Maguire. Let's go. Oh, Maguire. Oh, he's been chopped down. That was disgusting. He was through. He got absolutely destroyed. I know Daniel Vasquez got ridiculous free kicks, but this is the position where no matter who I've got taking it, it will be that short corner. And Christensen's going to bang it. Oh, I thought that was in. I thought that was in. That was unlucky. Oh, but Cambu. Oh, that was lucky. That was, that, was, that was lucky for us. That was very lucky for us that he didn't score that. What a rocket, Paulinho. My God. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Uphill battle now. Let's go. Oh, Aidan McGeady. That was unlucky. Didn't expect you to win the header. Oh, he's giving us the ball here. Oh, we've lost it. And we got a free kick out of it. That was, that was a very weak free kick. We're not going to do that again. We'll do that. Oh, for God's sake. I thought that was going to work. Oh, that's irritating. Oh, really nice passing. Yes, Maguire. What a lovely bit of play. Nice one to pass in between. Um, I think it was Maguire, Christensen, and maybe Vass. But all that matters is the assist went to Christensen. The goal went to Maguire. We're back in the game. 70 minutes left to play. Hat trick on its way. Let's go. Oh, Christensen has put Maguire through one on one. And that is two 
one. Two, two assists for uh, Christensen, two goals for Maguire. Can't complain about that. The defence was nowhere. He went on a run with Gaia, and that's why I threw it out to Costa, because I knew there'd be no one there. Put it through to uh, Christensen, who just put a lovely through ball. What a pass. Absolutely fantastic pass. Nice composure by um, Maguire, who's only like 70 composure. He managed to get past Umtiti. The ball onto his strong foot, and a goal. Lovely stuff. Right, half time. Half time, we are 2-1 up in this game. After going 1-0 down, he has a very, very good hold up playing passing. I have to say that. We've had five shots for on target, pretty decent possession, and not bad passing at 85. You know, that's not too bad. Let's get to the second half, keep this momentum, keep the win, and get the all important three points. Oh, Maguire, go for that shot. Good save by Tostegan. I didn't say it at the half time break, but this game has been boring. Very, very boring. Or well, who's this? Christensen? That was unlucky. But yeah, other than the three goals, nothing has happened whatsoever. Nothing at all. Have to say that. Absolutely nothing. Need to put some life into this game. Oh, what a banger. This guy doesn't score goals. He just scores screamers. I think that was Orellana. That was ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Need to get the win. Need to get, the, need to get another goal. Patrick, let's go. Come on, Maguire. How he didn't score there, I, I don't know. That was a dangerous, dangerous attack. This guy is an incredible, incredible player. He's got a corner there. Nicely clear. Can we start a counter? Play that long ball. No, he's going to get there. Damn it. Oh, he's put Oral on a throw. He's going to make it. He's going to... Oh, my God. This guy is one of the best FIFA players I've ever played. He is on you when you've got the ball. His passing is impeccable. He's stepped up in terms of defending in, in the second half. I, uh, I I just can't do anything. Uh, it's one of those games. It's one of those games where you can't do anything. Oh, I thought that was about to go in. Oh, I've got a corner out of it. That's not too bad. I've got a corner out of it. We'll take it with Vass. Even though having Maguire in the box is going to make us make no difference to us whatsoever. And it's cleared. Fantastic. Go on, Christian. So have a pop. That was unlucky. We've still got the ball, though. Cross it in. It's going to make no difference. Oh, it's laggy. What's going on? What's with, what's with the lag? What's going on here? Oh, Costa. Who's that, Christensen? Oh my god, to Stegen. Go away. We should have definitely had a penalty there because I think it was Christensen got taken down in the box. That was irritating. Last corner. And it saved off the line. It is saved off the line. And is that it? Is, is he going to have an attack? Or is it going to. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, breath. It's been more than three minutes. Now, oh, Ferdinand with a good block. He's got a corner. I guarantee he's going to take the corner, play it short, lose the ball, and the referee's going to blow the whistle. There you go. Ah, oh my god, I can read FIFA. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a psychic. 3 2 loss. That is disappointing, but he was a good player. It was one of those games where I did lose, but hey ho, you know, it's one of those things I, I, you know, I did lose. Two goals for Maguire, two assists for Christensen, so a very good performance from the boys in this episode. I, I do rate them, and you know, obviously now it's too late for you guys to go out and pick them up because they've been and gone. Then they're no longer in the SBC section. I'm recording this on Sunday the 26th, so it's now Black Friday, and that's what everyone already is caring about, spending loads of money on packs. But these players were insane. If you've got them, you've picked up a very good pair of players there, especially in terms of weekend league super subs, in my opinion. But the team all round was pretty decent. I can't lie. I can't. I can't lie. It was a very very good team. Rob Boy's back over at the squad screen, and like I said, the team didn't play too badly. Joe Hart, uh, Joe Hart sorry, wasn't a bad goalkeeper. You know, for someone that's 82 rated, he he wasn't really, wasn't really that that bad. You know, he didn't let too many shit goals in, just a couple of screamers. Abdullahi and Johnny played very well. Abdullahi better than Johnny in my opinion, um, despite being two ratings lower. Very very impressed with the pair of them. Very impressed with Nielsen. I have to say, for a 72 non-regular centre back, he was very very good. Um, 
Rio Ferdinand is mad. I wonder what his prime, prime one is like. I definitely have to pick him up at some point. Martins was all, all right. You know, he, he was there. He was helping out with the attack with the uh, with the medium, medium and the 73 passing. I couldn't complain about him whatsoever. Uh, Daniel Vass is just a monster. He is such a good midfielder. He's box to box. Helps out all the time. Absolutely love the guy. And then Christensen played brilliantly in those two games. Well, game and a half. Um... He played really well, got the two assists in the second game, so he really did help out. Held a cost start, he didn't do too much, but his pace really does help you out on the wing. He's got the four-star skill moves as well, which is decent. McGeady this year is terrible. He's been nerfed as anything since previous FIFA, so I really would recommend staying away from him in terms of left-wingers, you know, maybe get this guy on six game or whatever but Sean Maguire is ridiculous he's got fantastic pace he's got fantastic finishing and he's got a very very good touch on him the only thing that really does let him down is his strength even though it's a 78 he's not that strong he's only five foot nine so that really does let him down his composure is 70 ignore that he's got such a good shot on him really would recommend going and pick him up if you have obviously or like I say you can't pick him up anymore but if you've got him, you know, you've got a good player there. But that's been the video, boys. I hope everyone enjoyed. As always, links down to Twitter and Instagram in the description below. Go down there, drop me a follow, drop a like on the video, drop a sub if you're an around here. Go down there, guys. It's down there. Right down there. Go down there. Drop a like, drop a sub if you're an around here. Until next time, guys, have an amazing day. And I shall see you all later. Bye.